Hello there folks and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. Today is time for part 46 and 115 of the series as a whole. And today is time for the second part of our Betfred World Snooker Championship match at the round of 16. The second round against the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Now last time out we played the first seven frames and it was a bit ridiculous. There were a few frames that should have gone our way but we're not going to get worried about that. We are 5-2 behind at this point. And today we're probably going to play nine frames. It's going to be a really long episode, but I suppose you and I hope that you guys can understand that these episodes are going to be long. That's just the the nature of it, unfortunately, um, because the World Championship it's like it's long matches, and that's just the way it is. Uh, but uh, I suppose you guys can always watch this in in two halves or however you guys want to watch it. Uh, you know, there's plenty of ways to watch watching ten minute chunks if you want. But I'm not going to split the video down that much. But anyway. Um, we're into the 8th frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan did make the break in that 8th frame before we left off in the last episode. And he left quite a symbol red on, actually. So that's exactly what we've gone for. And uh, we've got a decent start for this 8th frame. I mean, it'd be brilliant, pardon me, if we could uh, go and win this 8th frame. Of course, it's the only time that Ronnie O'Sullivan has had a free frame advantage in this match. And that was purely down to our silliness at the end of the 7th frame. Um, we pretty much well won, won the frame. That seventh frame. And then we had the classic old glitch where we hit the shot wrong. We uh, must have pulled forward or it was a glitch with the game or whatever happened. Um, we pulled forward far too early on the on the analogue stick. And uh, we didn't hit the pink. And as a result, it was a foul. And that's a pretty mediocre shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's starting as we mean to go on, eh? That uh, is a real shocker. Ouch. Well, all we can try and do here is get it behind the black. If we can, but this is tricky. Yeah, complete nightmare to start us off here. Not what I was hoping for at the least. Got to make this as soft as possible. And uh, it's tough, very tough, but we put ourselves in this situation, so... Only ourselves to blame here. And this is a bit of a frustrating way to start because we're going to be pretty lucky for Ronnie not to win the frame from here. He looks to be playing the swerve shot here. But this is the only shot we can really play. And it's gone wrong. We've hit the red. <sighs> That's frustrating. That's a really frustrating way to start. Disappointed with that shot, I think. And a miss. Neil Robertson, nine. We just completely mucked it up, didn't we? We went for the... Uh, must have been the black we went for. No, no, sorry, we went for the red. My well, memory's terrible. We only hit the shot about two minutes ago. We went for the red and, well, just overdid it. And we got behind a red, got snooking on the black, or else this would have been a really good opportunity. And now it's Ronnie who's got that opportunity. It's a real frame where things could get pretty worrying for us. That's why we need to probably bring it back this time to 5-3. We just need to get in the mindset, which we haven't been at all so far, I feel. That winning mindset. Nine. So scrappy frames, we just haven't cut it in. But, again, we made a mistake. We just have to live with it. And if that means Ronnie taking this frame, then so be it. But questions have to be asked now. 24. That probably after this, we need to start a decent run of winning frames. Because if we lose this frame, even lose the next one, God forbid, and it is a really tough comeback from there. Three frames, even four frames I can kind of deal with, but any more than that, and it's a real uphill struggle. Ronnie's been the better player so far. 25. But we need to inherit a bit of that Daffabet Masters spirit where we had that winning mentality. And what we've had, to be fair, for most of the second half of the season. But we can't have that winning mentality if we're not at the table. But if you guys are enjoying the World Championship so far, let me know down in the comments. Leave a like as well. 31. Not going to be much snooker on in the next few weeks, it seems. I don't want to talk about the dreaded C word on here, not the one that you would usually use as a dreaded C word, uh, because 
I just want to get away from that as much as possible in this content. It's all over the news. You don't need to hear it here. All we're going to focus on here is the snooker. And maybe a bit of rambling. But a good break from Ronnie so far. Break of 45. Uh, I don't see many huge issues going away from Ronnie potentially winning this frame in this visit. But at least it'll cut the video size down. You guys will know if it's 45 minutes that Ronnie's gone and win won the nine frames without any sort of reply. 46. And let's be fair, he can't win nine more frames, so <laughs> it'd be the end of the match. 53. But he's really in his stride, Now that's not a surprise at all. I mean, if when he had a year off, for God's sake. He had a year off, came back for the World Championships and won it. That's all the evidence you need about Ronnie O'Sullivan's motivation. We just haven't got off to a good start, ultimately. And that's the beauty of these long-distance games. 25 frames, first to 13. Looks good for a yes, Ronnie's probably got six here. But he's not even halfway there yet. Very nicely done. So we can come back. That's the mentality we've got to have. Just proves, though, one mistake, like we made there, was a frame clincher. Six. So you've got to hope for one of two things. <laughs> that Ronnie stop, starts, starts playing a little bit worse and starts making more mistakes. Or equally that we cut out the mistakes. And I would rather do the second one. I'd rather do the latter. Nicely onto the I wouldn't like to think that Ronnie's going to start playing weekly and gifting us frames. If that happens, of course, we'll take it. But we can only play who's in front of us. And at the moment, that is a very strong player in form. This could be another century for Ronnie. This will make it 81. No, I don't think it will be, though, now. He might just call it a day, though, unless he goes for the spectacular. Good queuing required here. Just to really wind us up. That's exactly what he has gone for. Well, I suppose we can do that when we're on form. He's going to go for the century here, 87 at the moment. It looks fairly easy if he can pop this red and he's in the best position possible for it. 88, the black will make it 95. Now it's just yellow and green. 95. But would you believe it? He's a little bit awkward just on the, the yellow. Thought he'd snooker himself there, but not quite. But he's... Oh, well. Goodness me. I thought that yellow had missed. When you're in the balls, when you've got a bit of luck, Amazing that sort of century. shot just goes. And that's a century for Ronnie. A great century. Break 122 potentially here if he gets this right. And I'll tell you what, he's not he's not too clean on some of these, but he seems to be potting everything, which is a little bit of a worry for us. But the pink will make it 115. Very well played. 109. And the black will conclude a very, very, very strong break of 122. And it might be time to start being worried. Great clearance. He'll be thrilled with that. 122. And the frame, Ronnie Need to stop this now, don't we? It's the frame in the bag. If it had been 4-3, could well have been 4-4 four, four here, but it's not. Never mind what it could have been. Because, well, in case you haven't noticed, it's not. We just need to focus on every frame up ahead. We can't worry about the past. Just have to get on with it. He just wants to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion. Oh, that's an interesting uh, interesting shot. And he's hit the blue. But he's got away with it for half the table. But he's left a little bit of a sniff. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to bother. Well, he's aiming to get the cue ball safe here. You saw how Ronnie uh, dealt with the chance he had earlier. But ultimately that needed more legs. Needs a bit more power to it. And now we might have a chance. In hindsight, we could have gone for that. Absolutely we could have gone for that. Whacked it. He's aiming for the left corner here. And that would have been no good, really. So we probably missed it, giving him an even bigger opportunity. But once again, in this ninth frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan is in here. Really well played. Eight. And if this sort of lead for Ronnie isn't a wake-up call for us, I don't really know what is. But he's in again. And we need to stop the rut. 
14. Any bit of solace is that the black's off its spot. Great shot. And when he's potting stuff like that with ease, then you've got something to worry about. He's just looking to drop this in gently. 21. Beautiful. He seems full I don't really see any serious opposition to Ronnie apart from himself here, and that sounds very obvious. But overconfidence, complacency. That's Can't see it with that sure. split. Great opportunity. Twenty-seven. He's playing his snooker very cleanly. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. Long blue though. Well, 32. anything that he could miss, he's not. And this is not the way I envisaged to start this episode. Claw it back to two-frame lead for Ronnie was the objective. In that first frame, and then so we were from there. But this tug-of-war... For the first of 13, I would say with this frame in particular, will become a lot harder. Really impressive queuing. As I said before, three frames, four frames, yeah, it, it, it's enough to come back from, but five, 43. you need a serious good run of form. And a player like Ronnie isn't going to be too eagerly prepared to give us that at the moment. 51. Could be another century on here. And all of a sudden, it feels like we could have done with that long match preparation against Tom Ford. 57. That might well have been very, very beneficial. Tremendous spot. Great technique. Superb queuing. 58. He's going for the left corner pocket. Should be much more in needs though now. Brimming with confidence and on a bit of a roll at the moment. 65. 66. This colour will do it. Well. Well, well, well. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 66. Oh, well, to be fair, he'd already done it to some extent. But uh, a bit of luck for Mr O'Sullivan there. Certainly was. And our aim here, just to get it in behind the, the brown or the green, potentially. It's not really worked. Although, there's not really a potting chance on, so it's a bit of solace, I suppose. Well, it goes. Could go for this one. Chance. And there you go. That's a tremendous pot. I said it wasn't really a potting chance. I knew it was, but it wasn't. I didn't think it was a serious one. Not one that you'd risk taking a punt on. But he did. Ronnie O'Sullivan, three. And uh, well, it's Ronnie who's left us the tricky shot. We might as well play on a little bit longer here, because you never know what can happen sometimes. Attempting to get the white tight on the cushion. We've missed the red. That just about sums it up, this frame. We're going to have to concede there. And this is getting worse by the minute. He's given away penalty points with that foul. Ronnie leads by seven frames to two. Frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan. And that is this is a real worry. Thank you. This frame now. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Every frame, in fact. Until we get this back to something stable, needs to be won. And at this point, I don't think safety is the best way to do it. Well, he's taking it on. That is a quality. Opening. That's a good red, though. Never doubt we had the potting ability. Now with this good chance, one prove something. Prove that we've still got the fight for this.
Bit of practice. Ain't gonna hurt. We've not had many shots today. He's playing for the right corner here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well. <laughs> that was a poor shot, to be honest. A real get out of jail free card. Huge. Very lucky there. Nicely positioned for the red. Shouldn't have really had a whack at it, should we, to be honest. Really shouldn't. Should just focus on the pot and then position, but you get greedy, don't you? But albeit, we got away with it that time. Thank our lucky stars there. Would you believe it? <laughs> Tell you what, when it's not when it's not going for you, it really isn't, is it? Really is not. Jesus. I'm just astounded, really am. Got how we can set the colour now. There we go. We'll go for the pink. I just can't believe this. I, I, I really am speechless. I know I'm supposed to be doing a commentary for you, but... I mean, you set yourself up for failure with that sort of shot, don't you? You really do. He's looking at the easiest way to get out of this. But at least this time we've got it up bulk. Well, that's not it was a decent way to get out of it. But there's a few potting chances. But luckily he's not going to take one on. Need to win this frame. And for a minute I thought we'd lost it there. I thought, great, that's another one given away. This looks safe to me. But we need to wake up. At least we look okay at the moment. And he has left a chance. Yes, he's taking the pot on. And it's there. Great Lovely queuing. Great positional shot. Maybe not so great in terms of position. I know he's saying great positional one. shot, but. I have to say, I don't think it's the best in the world. This is the tactic. Get the cue ball up bulk. That's the best thing we can do at the moment. Neil Robertson, one. That just leaves him a little bit awkward in terms of his options, but he can still play a thin safety. As can we. It's just about winning this safety battle. Where the table's not running for you, I know I've used that excuse far too many times. Excellent safety shot. But when you're not too comfortable with the table, then you just need to win the odd battle. Get a bit of luck on your side. And Ronnie has given us another chance. So fingers crossed. Taking this red it should be the visit. Well played. That was made more difficult due to the rest being used. One. A little bit too close to the cushion for my liking, to be honest. But we're coming back. <laughs> Just don't want to overhit Just this. Just to sink this into the left corner pocket. That's an excellent pot. He really looks in fine form at the moment. And if anything, we've underdone that. Three. But will this red go? Is there a gap? Hmm. There's a possibility, but I don't really want to risk it. So I'll try this red here. Into the left corner pocket. That's a clean pot, lovely. That's opened up a few more opportunities. Fairly big risk shot there if we'd have missed it. I think, yes, I know we've scored only scored 18 points. 
I would say that we've got a fair chance now to win this frame. Nine. Open up the reds. Just the one red opened up a little bit. Ten. That's not bad at all. I'll take that. This is really tricky. Blue's there. Superb cubal control there. Ideal position. Right. Just need to focus now. Fifteen. Focus is everything. Hit this nice and hard. Just check it was going in and not wayward, because that would be embarrassing. I'm not sure what happened there. But but I'll tell you something. I just cannot believe our luck. Cannot believe our luck. 15. Never known if anything like this happened to us. Really don't. Cannot believe this. What are the odds? Give it a good whack. You know, you should nothing should really happen, should it? You wouldn't think at least. Try and get to the pink, but it's proving a bit awkward. That red just in the way. That red wouldn't have been in the way. It would have been a fairly simple safety. Look how close we are to hitting that pink. Swerve's not playing into our favour here, is it? That's just far too hard on the pink, ultimately. I think we've got to sneak there. There we go. Still going to be too hard, I would say. You'll be conscious of not overhitting this. Yeah, it's far too hard. Well. That's not ended remember well. that fear of jinxing myself earlier? Goodness me, this is a match that is just going from bad to worse. I can't remember the last time we won a frame. Would have been 4-2, wouldn't it? In fact, it wouldn't have been 4-1 it wouldn't have been four one up, I don't think. So I don't think we've won a frame now since the fifth frame. Wowzers. That's scary. Ten. But he's missed the red. Oh, well. Oh, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Not an easy one, but Can you believe chance. it? No problem there. Fifteen. I genuinely thought he'd missed the red. Looking at the camera angle, I thought, no, it's going to hit the jaw and bounce back out. Sixteen. We got our own slice of luck earlier, so... I suppose that's Ronnie's. No surprises here with the long pot attempt. It's going to be close though, this frame. Only three reds left. Twenty two. Depends how he splits these two reds. Twenty-seven. And he'll do it that fine. Twenty-eight. Is he gonna play the black? He is. He's got a nice shot on the red. What a Depends what colour he goes for. Is he gonna go for the pink? Wonderful. Possibly. Thirty-six. He just wants this to drop he is. gently into the pocket. So, with 27 remaining, Ronnie O'Sullivan leads by 12 in this 10th frame. 44. And I just really do not, do not know what to say. 
This is a nice frying ball. Brown. 47. Well, it was 5 2. 51. And three frames in today, it's 8 2. 56. This is crisis stage now. If you're a gambling man, a Ronnie comeback. Uh, sorry, a Robbo comeback would seem a bit of an exaggeration. But we're going to fight with all we can. And we move on to the fourth frame. We need a win. And we need one desperately in this frame. Come on. Well played to take that frame. Thank you, the 11th frame. Neil Robertson to break. This is going to sound very stupid right now, but we could still be level going into the end of this session. We still hope. I think we probably am going to play nine frames today. Of course, three of those done already. And as I've just said, we could well end this eight each. That would be brilliant. I can't see it. And especially the way the momentum's going at the moment, I really can't see that. But all I would say is is that we've got to lessen the damage as much as possible. And that is not a bad chance. Hit the brown full ball there, and uh, it's potentially given us a sniff. But as has been the thing all day, um, it doesn't look like we're going to get that. Although, hmm, I don't fancy it personally, this red. Although Ronnie might. No, I don't fancy it. So, I'm going to play the lowest risk option. Get the red that could potentially be tapped in out of the way. Uh, into the Back into the pack and play back up to bulk. And it might well hit yellow full ball, but that's not too bad. That's okay. So, I will admit, I've had a little bit of a break since the last few frames. Just tried to get some composure back and come back to this from a, a fresh aspect. Because I always find you can get very caught up sometimes. And uh, far too immersed in the game. and Then, uh, well, it all goes to pop, doesn't it? Oh, that's a good safety. He'll be pleased with that. That is a good safety from Ronnie, but we can come back from it. Luckily, he's left this one red, which he can get to. A bit, a little bit annoyed by that, actually. But where's this cue ball going? Needs to hit the jaw pretty quickly. Oh, well, careless. it's gone in off. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. That's an excellent shot. I think Ronnie's just trying to wind us up here as much as possible. Luckily doesn't quite get the snooker. Nearly did though. And if he did, I might have just cried. That's not bad though. That'll do. An interesting safety battle going on here. That's an excellent safety. And we're just going to hit this red as thin as possible. Try and avoid what happened last time, which is going in off. It's too much on that, if anything. But I think at this point, it's not much of a risk. Those reds are all tightly packed. Interesting choice of shot there. Goodness me, what was that? Safety gone wrong or what? Wow. That was a um, peculiar shot at best from Ronnie. Very odd. If we want for this blue, hmm, this is made fairly easy, but we're going to have a punt at this red. This won't be easy. Play it plenty hard to just get things out of the way but I just cannot believe our luck today um, it's managed to stay down on the on the black cushion so what we're going to have to do here if we can have any hope is just try and 
Put this black in the middle pocket. Tremendous which we have done. Good shot. But what's position going to be like? We've been pretty unlucky with that all day. We need a bit of luck. And if we can actually get it, well, we might not be too bad to actually win a frame. But I've said that a few times before and regretted it. But it has to be said, when your opponent goes in off, I can't think of any better opportunities to go and win a frame than that. To the right middle. That's a great pot. Really impressive queuing. Nine. I can't tell if the sound's going into my one earphone or not. Very bizarre. Can't tell if it's going into both or just the one. It seems there's a lot from the right hand side, but I can't actually tell. 50. Told you I'd do a bit of rambling. Even if we were six frames behind. That shows you more than anything that we're nervous. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I just need to focus on getting a decent break here. I was talking earlier about, well, you know, you need to get through the frames and potentially cling on and whatever, blah, blah, blah. And that's the most important thing here. And that maybe wasn't the right shot. 16. Need to focus now. I'm getting this up bulk. But no, that was the wrong shot. It was a poor shot, that was. But that was a better one. Neil Robertson wasn't ideal. 16. But it was a recovery nonetheless. And he's certainly not gone for a pot here. But he can get the snooker. And that's exactly what he's done there. That's what he was after. Nicely played. And that's the risk you take playing that sort of game with Ronnie. Really is. He doesn't want to lose the white here. He could leave an opportunity. Mm, there's too much on that, I would say. Even if it does hit a red. But actually, foul, but I think this is a half chance. We have potentially gotten away with it here. We didn't do too bad out of that at all. He's looking to get the cue ball safe. No, we did well there. That's good to see. And seeing as he's come back down to the black cushion, there could be an opportunity for us. He's been quite lucky, but he has left a potential pot on. Certainly a shot to nothing chance, I would say. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Mm, looks a bit off. Need look at the gods, and we haven't got it. <sighs> Was that a hasty shot? The shot of a player who was 8-2 behind, definitely. But that's a bit of a stinker. He needs to be wary so Ronnie's starting defense. to fall into the trap as well. Don't think he hit anything here. Was he going for a red? No. But we're going to play on quite happily. Not what he intended. And to be honest, I'm not sure what his intention was. Yeah, that's a good this. point. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Neil Robertson, four. Um, so we force him to retake that. What's he going to do? No, I think we... Oh, for... To play you idiot. <sighs> what is going through my head? Four. You tool. <laughs> I really do not know what's going on today. Really do not. I don't know what's going on. Must be painful to watch. Oh dear, 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 dear. In case you hadn't noticed, that was the worst choice. No idea why I did that. Just complete autopilot. Continue? Yes, I'll continue. And then as soon as I clicked that, well, oh dear. Should have just forced him to retake it. Wouldn't have been that bad. All we've worked for this second half of the season, you know, all... Uh, all of this, it, it's very quickly evaporating. Very quickly. And I think that if we don't get our act together quickly, that whole thing of 5-2 or 4-3 is going to categorise our game. It's really going to be the thing that highlights what's been wrong with us all day. Is that we just cannot get a frame together, cannot get a break together. You know, I've forgotten what it's like to get a century. I've forgotten in this match what it's like to win a frame. Ultimately, now Ronnie has to have, 
I mean, this is going to be at least five in a row, if not six. 37. Bit of solace here that potentially he could miss a colour. And he has. So, a chance for us. And if we don't take this chance, then there really is no point in playing. That's a poor shot, really. And I put the pressure on myself there because I think that's exactly what we need. Nicely onto the colour. One. So, we have got a chance here. We definitely need to take it. Prove that we can take it to Ronnie. And this just might be the catalyst we need. Ronnie started to play a little bit awkwardly, a little bit poorly. And this just could be the catalyst for the start. Maybe not have a comeback, but a lessening of Ronnie's lead by the end of the day. Six frames at the moment. Game to get that down to three, four by the end of the day. There's the dog making her... Can we on today's video? Well, he lost control of the cue ball there. He's played that poor. It's okay. See the red holes going for. Obviously, if we miss it, just leave the one that we've played. God, she is making a bit of a cameo, isn't she? Goodness me. on the long red to the corner pocket. It's a tight pot, though, and it's nice. That's and it's there. Trademark long pots. Brilliant. 17. The issue now is... Uh, Potting these Please two reds. Make sure your phones are on silent. And to be honest, I think that in this climate, it's just not worth playing a colour to try and get a position because it can only go wrong. So we're going to get back up to the bulk. We've not quite got the snooker. Well, not what he intended, but it's worked out okay. But it's a decent safety. Neil Robertson, seventeen. And goodness me, that's not what Ronnie O'Sullivan wanted. That was a shocker. So the right decision in the end. Could definitely separate those two reds. One. And it almost feels like Ronnie O'Sullivan is beginning to crack a little bit. And I know that being however far we are down, 8-2 down, that sounds a bit rich. That, you know, he's starting to crack. It sounds very silly. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. But those sort of shots, it does make you wonder. It does make you wonder where, wonder where Ronnie's mind's at. Maybe he's getting complacent. All I know is we can win this frame. It's a biggie. At this red. Tricky red. But it's there. That's well played with the rest. Seven. We're six ahead with this yellow. We'll be eight ahead with 27 remaining on the table. It's cleanly put away. Would you believe it? Would I believe it what? What would I believe? Come on, folds. What would I believe? Believe anything at this stage. <laughs> this is going to be tricky, though, to get over for this green. Just going to have the tables playing nice and quick. In fact, too quick. Where's that cue ball? In fact, we have got away with that. If that had just played away from the cushion, this would have been pretty much nigh on impossible, but it's a decent chance now. Tricky part along the cushion here. It's tricky. But it's there. Well, that's right out of the top draw. Great positional shot. He'll be happy this brown won't that. quite do it. 14. It's one shot closer though. And this tough blue down the table. <laughs> It wasn't quite enough in that stupid frame, that seventh frame. Just the blue required. So I'm not going to say anything at all. But the blue's there. So in theory, we should have won the frame. And that shuts the door on his opponent in this frame. Yeah, I remember Neil Fold saying that in that disastrous seventh frame. But there you go. I'm going to try a pot along the cushion. Ain't going to hurt. It looks decent. And that's a lovely pot. 29. And that was crucial. If it had been 9-2, okay, it could, it could go 9-3 very easily, but if it was 9-2, you'd have to say that we could be, you know, we could have called it a day today, to be honest. Still can. Uh, four frames, and if Ronnie wins the next five, then 
We're eight by thirteen frames to three. But hopefully that's not going to be the case. So five frames left. Ten six is what I'd be aiming for now. It's really stick, I think. You know, eight each, great. I've said we can still level things. Can't see it though. Well, it goes. Gonna have a sniff at this chance. red. Worth going for, I think. I think being this far back, we just need to try and take it's every opportunity that red. comes to us. One. Black's there, but would you believe it? Not sure what happened there. Absolutely That's no true. contact with any of the other reds. And if Eight. there was any contact that I didn't notice, it must have been very, very light. But albeit one red on the table that Ronnie O'Sullivan can't get to. That's a bit loose. Got to have a sniff at this red. Neil Robertson, eight. Not going to bother though. Hmm. Well, that touch of the green's not going to help him. And again, I don't think this is much too much of a risky shot, as long as we play it with softness and don't play it too hard. He's taking this on. As I said, I think we need to try and take on every opportunity we're given here. But I think that's a bit wide of the mark. And he's missed that. But this is the only red that it leaves on. One. And he's dead on straight on the blue. So, going up bulk. He's played that very well. See what he can do. And he's not played that badly at all. So Ronnie's got a chance here, but I don't think that was a silly decision from us. As I've said, we've got to take every opportunity we can at this point. Because it's proven that if we play safe, then... Ronnie beat us at that game. Not the best uh, split in the world. Really wasn't. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. So he's got the red. He's come back down for the black, but I'll tell you something, that is awkward. Right on the cushion. He's surely not going for this. Now he's played behind the black. And he's really mucked that one up. Strange shot. And this is what I mean. Ronnie, he's not the player he was a few frames ago. will not make any mistakes at all, but that was sloppy. Both shots, in fact, there. The roll up to the black and, of course, being in the position where he had to roll up to the black. Both sloppy shots. That was a good shot, though. Give him that. The cue ball has finished up in a very safe position. Mightn't be bad either. Yep, I'll take that. Win this frame and all of a sudden it doesn't sound so ridiculous. Where's the black going? He's potted the black. And could he do two in two? It doesn't quite go in off. But that's a shocker. Neil Robertson, seven. Let's see what he decides to do after that foul. We'll play on from here. Again, Ronnie could get us into a snooker and we'll regret that all the time. I mean, pot in the black from there. Very weird. Very bizarre. It's a good shot, though. That blue cuts off a few options. And that's another poor shot. Need to take advantage while Ronnie is uh, not playing well. Again, can you can control how you play, but you certainly can't control how your opponent plays. That's a nice pot. Get this black, well, get the one on the cushion, sort that out. One. This looks Hopefully get a second black and uh, see if we can open up the reds. Open up the pack. Really well played. Eight. This is a tricky one along the cushion. She's tricky. Well... <laughs> Needed that bit of luck there. Wasn't quite accurate enough. And this is a bit of a tricky cutback. Tough shot coming up. Well, 
I said straight away I hadn't really got the confidence to play that. But greed just sometimes takes over. And these frames really now are the scrappy ones. But as I've said, you can't control how Ronnie plays. Ronnie might well go and get a sentry from here. Don't know if he still can. <laughs> Seven reds. I, oh, I don't quite think he can. But anyway, the, the argument's there that he can get a frame winning break from here. No. And somehow, I feel like this time he's not going to turn down the opportunity. Again, pot the black and we'd have been in like Ronnie is now. So it's just the risk you take, isn't it? That's a top shot. Well played. Excellent What's he going to go for here? Is he going to go for the black? He is. 24. And he's looking good. Don't quite know what he wants to do here. Aiming for the right centre here. Oh, got to go into the middle, but was a little bit unsure of the angle. But keep on the black like this, and that doesn't really help our cause. 32. That's a bit weak, though. Still gets that to the middle pocket. And, the and he'll open these up more, I would say, now. So, again, when he's on his form, Ronnie can play very well. Oh, he's going for the blue. And he's potted it well. There you go. Bit uh, lucky he didn't hit the reds there. So he's going to play the blue, I would say, here. That puts him 30, 33, uh, 34 ahead. He just needs a few more balls to win the frame. It's not a dead cert, though. Playing the blue again. So he'll be 40 ahead, just needs the red. To bounce back straight away and regain that six-frame lead say something from here it's going to be tough it really is just the red required but give it our all as we have 51. all the way through this match 56. so the potential of Ronnie O'Sullivan winning this match in this episode it uh, still remains does it yeah it does 57. this is the fifth frame yeah so another four, and he can win, but we do our best to ensure that doesn't happen now. But it is pretty alarming, the, the sort of run we've got to put together now to avoid Ronnie O'Sullivan getting through to the quarter final. But I'm sure players have done it before, and we wouldn't mind adding our name to that list. He's nicely onto the brown. 68. 72. 77. 83. Well, I said wouldn't quite be a century, but a break of 90, certainly not too bad for a player who is starting to weaken. And, uh, well, Ronnie O'Sullivan opens the lead out once again, and it is nice. nine frames frame, to three. That is the frame. So, just a break for frame 13 here. Must admit... I never imagined we'd be in this position going into this frame. Oh, we might be behind, but this is a worry. All the World Championship matches I've played have been pretty even. This one hasn't, but that is a very nice break-off. Snooker him right from the start. And this is a good chance right from the getaway. Need to get out of there, though. As we have done. It's a good shot. That'll do. One. Half a chance here. Come on. Please, God. Please, please, please. Oh, thank God. He's gone past the yellow spot. <sighs> I was just thinking, that's me luck. Wanted to play that shot with a certain softness, but yes. I thought, I'll tell you something, given my luck today, I know exactly what's going to happen here. But we're okay. Thank God for that. We get the red. Four. And uh, it's long blue time, so no, no pressure. 
High quality striking required here. Missed a few of these in the not so distant past, so a bit of pressure on this, but we deal with that absolutely fine. Nine. Hmm. Want to get close to that really. So force us to take this shot on. He's playing the pot Shots enough in though here. Very cleanly potted though. Position that touch off the jaw clear. won't really hurt. He's played that very well. Ten. Just need to get these reds open at some point because the options are, as you can see, pretty limited. And again, we've got the queuing all wrong for that red. And this time there's not the other options, so I suppose we only leave the red that we're playing. If we miss this, but it's a tricky one. Down the cushion. As you can see, it's right on the cushion. And we've missed it. Oh, so close. He needed some luck there, and he didn't get it. Neil Robertson, 13. Served us right, to be honest. We had two attempts to go on that red, and we never really did. And what would have been, been on there? You know, would have been better to potentially play a safety. One. I'm just glad it wasn't those shots that we whacked the reds Three. open, to be honest. It's not the best opportunity in the world. But the way he's playing, you know, Ronnie can take anything at this Nicely point. Onto the colour. Four. Not the shot he was aiming for there. Yeah, what's he done there? Eight. Well, it's a lovely shot. Nine. Well, that was end of break, but clearly wasn't. And this blue is ambitious, but right, 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 right in the heart of the pocket. But hasn't really worked. But that's a stinker. At all. Fourteen. So that's end of break. That's a bizarre shot, but one that infuriatingly he gets away with. Nothing that winds me up more than that. Just play behind this red. I don't think there's too much you can do from there. He needs to be mindful of not no. hitting this shot. No, that's absolutely fine. Shame we can't quite get one unless we can. Can't quite get to that red. That's a shame. That'll do, though. If it sits in there, that's sitting quite pretty. Nice. Blocks off the danger balls. This is developing into a fascinating safety battle. We need to win this safety battle. Ooh, that's not the best way to win it for Ronnie. He's crumbled there. Not what he intended at all. He'll be annoyed with that. And that ain't a bad Playing split at all. That is not a bad split. Good split. So for the first time today, can we make it two frames in a row? No pressure. It's about the straightest shot we've played all day, isn't it? Seven. It's nice when you get a bit of luck to play a shot like that. A few awkward shots I've had to play in the last few frames. That is because of this. Because we've just not Eight. been queuing right at all. We've been queuing quite poorly, actually. Overhitting it, underhitting it, whatever. And that's making a massive difference, especially today. 13. Such a tight uh, match. Not in terms of the score, but in terms of some of the shots you have to play. Uh, that's a top shot. But, win this frame, and we don't look too bad. At least we are taking it to Ronnie, but the trouble is... In some matches, like that one against Mark Allen in this tournament last year, we could afford to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and interchange every frame with Ronnie. We can't this time. We're forced now to really win every frame for a long time. He's looking to pop this into Else the right it is corner. very tricky to avoid Al Sullivan winning there. the match. But where's that red going? It's, it's okay. Wonderful. 20. Let's go for this red. Well, he's playing this into the left middle pocket. 
And it's there. Pink's been moved, but actually we got on the blacks. That's a bit of luck. Nicely positioned for the black. 21. Get it past the black spot, that's it. Obviously the black won't go on its spot, or go on the pink spot. So quite luckily we moved that, moved that out. Shot here. Brilliant. What a magnificent and we're starting to play with some sort of fluidity. Could say a bit too little too late, but we'll have to see. Not over till it's over. Lose this frame from here though. And our job's made a lot harder. That wasn't the best shot in the world. Hmm. Just wasn't, was it? Try and play a recovery with this blue. Very much a shot to nothing here. So what I'm going to do is play the safety. That blue can only go wrong, can't it? So, take the decision, say it's end of break. We mucked up on that shot. And just play up to bulk. And that is not bad. Yes, he can still get to the red. Will he take it on? He won't. And he's hit the red. Come back off the cushion and hit the red. And as I've said before, Ronnie O'Sullivan not is not the player that he was in previous frames. He's aiming for the left That's a good pot. That's a beauty. Great queuing there. One. Again, every frame now is a huge swing frame. This is the key shot. If this goes in, you fancy him for the frame. Good shot. Nicely done. And that effectively shuts out his opponent in this frame. You know, 9-4 obviously sounds a lot better than 10-3. 9-5 sounds a hell of a lot better than 11-4. You get the picture now. Every frame has to be ours, really. Sixteen. Didn't do too great on getting on that red, but we'll just play a shot here. See if we can get it in the, in the pocket. And that's not bad at all, is it? Shot that is. Just a bit of a lucky shot. Thought, why not? We'll play it. And we'll definitely uh, get some practicing in clearing the table, clearing the colours. Can't remember the last time we did it. 22. We certainly haven't had a clearance all game, that's for certain. Just the colours remaining. Two frames in a row, you know, I think that's quite big. Also obviously means that Ronnie can't win it today, which is definitely a positive. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. That's not such a positive though. Need to iron out those sort of mistakes, particularly when it's crucial. But it doesn't matter in this frame, so we're not going to get too hung up about it. And after 13 frames, the score is 9 frames to 4. Thank you, frame so three frames to go today. To Best case scenario, 9-7. Be a great fight back from where we were at 8-2 down. Worst case, 12-4 to Ronnie. Well, he's taking the red on. <sighs> so close. Unlucky. That'll annoy him. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Get away with it, though. Hmm. That red's a problem, isn't it? Now, I don't like to do this particularly because it, it can lead to quite boring frames, certainly quite boring starts to frames. I need to hit this red. We've once hit it a little bit, and that could be a problem. There we go. We've hit it. He's playing for the right corner here. But we've left a... Well, hmm. That's we a left a little chance, red. and that is a bloody stinker. Didn't want to play that shot particularly because it makes the frames boring. I did not expect this to be the aftermath after he played that shot. That is quite unbelievable how he's made this out of that opportunity. 
And that's how quickly a frame can go away from you. One silly decision and all you've done in the last two frames has been halved. You know, avoid Ronnie winning a frame now and makes our job a little bit easier in the next one. Who knows, he might muck this up, but is he really? Hmm, don't think so. I mean, 12-4, yikes. Always feels like it's worth playing the extra frame. Could be a very short one next time out. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. Yes, he'll be very pleased with that shot. What can he do here? I think we might play eight frames today. Rather than nine. As I've just said, not no, it is kind of for that reason that if Ronnie goes to twelve, then you have that big panic. Going into the next episode. But I think that Hmm, I'll think about it in the next few frames. I think depending on the score, depends on where we leave it. But I think that this is pretty certain that Ronnie is going to make it 10-4. Uh, so retain that two, uh, that's a two frame advantage, please. Retain that six frame advantage he's had for a while now. 49. Hasn't gone over that threshold yet. If it does, we've got a lot to worry about. It's so much easier, isn't it, watching your opponent play? You think, Christ, amazing. Position looks good for a colour. And he has completely outclassed us so far, but the game is not over until one player's got 13 frames. It's tough, but at least we're showing some sort of fight now. We have stopped the rut where Ronnie wins frame after frame after frame. this into the right corner. 10-6 doesn't sound so bad. 64. Means you'd have to win the next two. This is a critical shot here. Because that Down is this frame over. So that puts Ronnie into double figures. No real way the so he's 10-4 up. Now. Win the next two 65. is something I'd say we've got Seven. definitely got to do. Well, he's because if he ends at 11 or even 12... Then every mistake is huge, and I don't think I can deal with that pressure for eight or nine frames Excellent next time out. So, yes, it could well be 10-6, and he wins the next three frames next time out. I understand that, but I think psychologically, 10-6 gives a hell of a lot more chance than 11-5. And I know that, as I said before, every frame is a swing frame. I get that. But to have three chances rather than two... It would have been great to make it 9-7. That really makes it close. But it's not going to be like that. So 10-6 is the maximum we can do now. That's not even being optimistic. That is the maximum. But unfortunately, Ronnie misses out on the century. But we're going to concede the frame there. It's 10 frames to 4 now. And I think to have any chance, we need to win this next frame. Take it a frame at a time. I'm going to hit that though. It's okay. Our breaks are very usually... Uh, very normally rather. Very normally? Our breaks as normal. <laughs> Our low risk. Where's that red going? He's going to hate that being kept there. But actually it's a bit of a problem for us because hmm gonna have to play it not much choice in the matter and that's probably safer than it was before so that's not a bad shot at all is he really gonna risk playing that I don't think so being so close to the cushion he is though and luckily he gets away with it so we'll have our turn shall we Half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. And we haven't Close, done it. But it does quite. leave a pot. And a chance. A bit unlucky where the cue ball ended up there. 
left practically a strike pot. One. And pot the blue, and he can just smash open the reds, but he's not going to. He's going to apply the green. Well, that's an unforced error. And that's end of break. Four. They can call for a break. Ronnie he tried to get that behind the black. Four. I have no idea. Whatever he's tried, it has not worked. Need a bit of the look of the snooker gods. Not quite going to get it. It's unfortunate. Doesn't leave a pot on there. It's the most important thing. You lucky devil. So the typical swerve shot needed here. I'm not a fan of those. These have to be very precise, particularly in this situation. He really doesn't want to overhit this. We've hit the green. Not really the result he was after. Okay, and make us play this again. Oh, the miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. He's attempting to swerve the cue ball here. That's better. See if this ends okay. He's played that very well. We'll deal with that. Quite happily deal with that. Where's that cue ball? Gets away with it, goodness me. the pocket there. The safety battle though is going to carry on. Of course Ronnie with just the red and the green so far. You got the snooker and got a four point uh, advantage out of that as well. Again another long episode and if you guys are enjoying and are glad to be along for the ride then that's awesome. It really is. Is this red? That's Gotta go with your gut sometimes. I think we'll get two for the price of one. We will. And sometimes it just works out. Two. Outstanding shot. If I may say so myself. That wasn't so outstanding, but Seven. it was okay. That wasn't bad. I'm not going to mark every single shot on a bad, uh, brilliant quota. If you want me to, let me know. I got quite boring quite quickly. That's all the commentary's about. This, requires a this blue needs to go. And it's there. And we've overhit it, but that's okay. Thirteen. That oh, devil of a red. Doesn't want anything else coming through it. It's a real sucker, that. I think we'll play this. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right. I don't think it, I don't think there's enough room. I don't think there's enough room. I can't see it. So we play this really soft, in which case it's not really a shot to nothing, is it? Oh, if I only would have looked at that bloody red. Plants possible here. Not very good at these, though. But we are on that occasion. That was not bad at all. Right. This is where things get a bit tight. Twenty-one. 
And these are the sort of situations I hate. It's very tight. Twenty-two. We'll give this our best shot, shot though. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Lovely blue. Credit to us, our blue pots have been pretty decent well, today. That's just outstanding. Superb pot. Twenty-seven. It's one thing we can say it's been pretty good. But we're getting a bit of the look of the green here, the rub of the green. Look of the green. Look of the draw. Rub of the green. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever phrase you'd like to use there. To describe having such luck. Lots of power on this shot. And we're using a lot of power just to screw back. 33. Luckily, that pesky red is not there anymore. Of course, we played the plants on it. We can deal with that. It's fine. 34. Pressure's on though now. One mistake and Ronnie could make it 11-4. Imagine that pressure if Ronnie was 11 or 12 up. Very tricky shot coming up. So we've got to minimise the time which... Uh, sorry, maximise the time in which that uh, can occur. Maximise. Delay, I mean. Maximise. I don't know why I use all these fancy words. I only get, get things wrong. Decent position on the pink here. 38. All I'm saying is keep winning frames and the pressure starts to ease a little bit. That being said, still win eight frames in a row and still muck this up. So that's the pessimist in me coming out. But yeah, we should we uh, look decent for this frame. And that's the important thing, at least in the short term. We take this on a frame by frame basis. Not the best we've seen from Neil Robertson. I don't think I should talk. I really don't. I should Neil not Robertson say anything. Now, can he drop this at all. The, right corner? the minute I say that we look good for a frame, we bottle Great it. <sighs> One. What has happened in this game? Be an inquest after this. Whatever happens... Five. We managed to win. How the hell does that happen? Pot along the cushion here. But if we get beaten, Six. which with every passing moment looks the bigger possibility, we also have to question what on earth has happened. Thirteen. But he's still twenty-three behind. There's still four reds to go, and that's the kind of shot that if Ronnie was twelve-four up, it would be game over. So we need to avoid that happening as soon as as much as possible. A, the shots, and B, Ronnie winning the frames. 21. The two frames he needs to get to that uh, potential winning frame. 22. But unfortunately, there isn't a hell of a lot we can do about it in this frame. 29. Which means now that... If Ronnie does go on and win this frame, he can only win one frame for the remainder of the match. Somewhere we have to go on a seven, eight frame winning streak. Yeah. That's an excellent point. Eight frame winning streak somewhere. Very well here. That's a frightening thing to think about, isn't it? Goodness me. Thirty-three. The odds are stacked against us here. 38. Onto the colours. So it's close, but if he clears well, these up, an it's another frame in Ronnie's favour. He's doing extremely well here. 40. 43. And just the blue needed. And he stole one. And that was poor from us. Really was. 52. 58. And for the first time in this match, Ronnie has a seven frame advantage. 
Well played to take that frame. Wow. Last frame of the day, then. It's been a long episode, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Only two frames for us. Six for Ronnie. The last session was 5-2. This is 6-2 at the moment. 6-3 would be ideal, wouldn't it? Playing this with a lot of power. That is a quality opening red. The queuing power is something that uh, cannot be questioned. One. Just need to produce frame when he breaks. And this could be the start of a run. Might well be the start was getting very panicked, I don't know. If we went and lost this one, but we can't think like that. He couldn't have played that any better. Six. We'll play this with plenty. Gotta get some luck with this split. And we haven't really got it. Yes, there's a red available. That's a bit of a stinker. Eleven. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. Excellent shot. Oh, wonderful shot. Oh, wonderful shot. Twelve. Does the red go past the bulk? Yep, no problem there. That's a bit of a shocking angle, isn't it, really? That's an absolute shocker. Shocking, that. Absolutely shocking. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. And it's not there, but we've got away with it. Neil Robertson, 17. He just wants to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion with the shot. Get this down the table, well out the way. That's a bit unlucky, isn't it? Could have potted that. I think my mindset at the moment is just to take anything that goes. Because well, if we don't, Ronnie will. It'd be a horrible way to end the season, wouldn't it? Six. Being outclassed. That's what we have been all day. He'll be fuming about that. But no. in this frame, he can't get near. Ronnie O'Sullivan, nine. In this one visit. He looks like he's trying to get the cue ball tight on the cushion here. I just don't know how it's got to this. No, it was 5-2. It was those three frames, wasn't it, that uh, we lost and it went 8-2. Those were the problem. Look at this. Where's this red? Ooh, well. Left a little chance here. In fact, he's left a few little chances. But I just do not know how it's got to this. Looking to really run don't. this along the cushion. And it's not going to have the legs, this isn't, is it? Thank goodness for that. What a shot that is! Not perfect position. One. Place all around the table. He'll be fuming about that. Seven. And sometimes it's not meant to be. Especially in this uh, exchange, anyway. Hit the blue, that doesn't help. <sighs> Neil Robertson, 
Seven. You just begin at this point, start One. to lose five. He's looking at the pot. Yeah, the way it's going, honestly. Could we really bring it back? I suppose that's the title of next episode. Would be remarkable if we right. could. But if it ends 12-4 today, then we need every single frame next time out. Eight. This session will end Great pot. seven frames to two. Eleven. 5-2 in the first session. I mean, it's just been outclassed, isn't it? 12. Eight frames this apart. Is a half chance. No problems with the rest there. Well played. So it's going to take an almighty effort. Whatever it ends, whether it ends 11-5 or 12 or however this video ends, 15. it is going to take an almighty effort to beat Ronnie O'Sullivan next time out. Our job's made a little mean? easier if we win this frame, sure. 18. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 18. It's going to be a scrappy one, though. We're not going to go down without a fight. Because suddenly, if it ends 11 5, it's not as bad. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. But then, if Ronnie finds that pot, pots a few more, then it is pretty bad. Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's mucked what? that one up there, hasn't he? Goodness me. And I think at this point, we might as well just play a shot to nothing. Click an end like that. Come on, where's the applause? Goodness knows. One. So I think the sensible thing to do now is just get this behind the yellow. Attempt to drop the cue ball in behind the pink. That's a fine snooker. Well played. Neil Robertson, one. It's got to the red. And look what's managed to block the pocket. So we might as well have a sniff at this red. Half a chance here. And that ain't bad. That's just magnificent. So we have a chance. In this frame. A potential chance. One. Still behind. Gonna bring this round. That could have finished a little better. Goodness me, it could have done. Really could have done. Okay. Four. Not really the shot we want to play at this point. But have we got the snooker? That's what he was going for. We have. He's played it well. Good shot. Neil Robertson, four. Hit the red. That wasn't a bad shot from Mr. O'Sullivan, was it? He's left a chance. It's not easy, but a chance nonetheless. I'm going to apply this to the bottom pocket, uh, to the black pocket. I'll tell you what, it can only go wrong if we don't. Nice and soft. Bit of a tap. This He's taking on the long is crucial. The corner pocket. No, not this time. Close, but a miss nonetheless. That's a killer. One. So, eight. If Ronnie clears up the colours here, he's one away, but he's not finishing Ronnie things like that. Eight. Not in this frame. Just going to play a safety, get the snooker. It's a swine of a snooker to get out of. Certainly, not, I don't think it's one we can swerve our way out of. go of course but I don't think we can played a good one there might as well just give this a bit of a tap ah oh, no that's not going to get out of it is it that's just going to even potting chance 
Must be painful to watch this. I'm not sure what happened there. A World Snooker Championship match, eh? Look forward to this all season. And uh, our season is just unravelling. Right here, right now. There's a song there somewhere. Nicely onto the green. Two. And the brown will put Ronnie O'Sullivan one frame within the next round. And us one frame from going out. No way back into this frame for his opponent now. Nine. Ronnie O'Sullivan, nine. Wow. <laughs> that happened again. He's chosen to play on here. I mean, it's ridiculous. So I, close to the cushion. I didn't think that. Well, there you go, but... Uh, that's annoying. Could have got the snooker behind the black. Not saying it would have led to anything, but I suppose you just never know. We might as well play on here. That five point gap certainly doesn't help. That looks very safe to me. This is an Because of that uh, shot glitch. I haven't had it for a while, but I had it there. I think he's trying for the snooker here. Do you think? Well, he's certainly not going for the pot, is he? <laughs> I don't get it this time though. Might as well just go for the pot if I was Ronnie. Nothing to lose. To get the snooker here. Nope, not going for it. The pot, at least. Give it a whack. See what happens. And it's not the snooker, but it's safe. You just never know what can happen from these altercations, so it's worth battling on. Maybe not now, though. There's nothing we can really do here, is there? Going to concede the frame. And it's now 12 4. 12 frames to 4. And that, ladies and gents, is how we're going to end today's episode. So, an interesting end. Next episode could be very short. The synopsis is one mistake and it's over. We need to win all nine frames next time out to overcome <laughs> and win an incredible match. I don't think we'll do it, but I suppose you never know. So tune in here in the next episode um, and see how we get on. Can we overturn it? It would be bloody amazing if we could, but I can't see it, but... We might as well give it a good go, haven't we? Might well be the final episode of Season 2. Anyway, thank you for watching. It is uh, a tremendous pleasure to host you for over an hour and a half. That is uh, a real credit that you guys can stay for this long. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed, but it's an uphill struggle, a real uphill struggle. But let's see how we get on in the next episode, shall we? Who knows what might happen. But anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for regular snooker content and comment your thoughts as well. And I will see you guys for the next episode whenever it comes about. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.